All right, greetings students. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at compound subjects. Now, you should already have all of these notes written in your notebook. If you don't for some reason, uh, be sure to get them copied, copied down. Now, I have space here at the bottom of my page to, to do these two sentences. If you don't, that's okay. You can go to uh, the next clean page that you have. And, and don't worry about wasting space. We have plenty of pages in our grammar notebook. Okay, so here we're going to uh, we're going to um, analyze these two sentences, and we're going to be learning about compound subjects, which we see at the top of this page. Okay, so compound subjects. So here we have we're going to have to deal with what we call a conjunction. All right, so we're going to start off with Will the green knight or white knight win the battle? Okay, so here we are. We want to do this just like we normally would, and we're going to start with the word when because that is our predicate verb right so we don't want to do anything different now who or what is going to win well what, who or what's going to win are uh, oops i just misspelled this one this is supposed to be a k n i so we've got to keep it tight to make sure it fits so who's going to win are, are one of these knights so this is subject and subject okay will is what kind of word Will is a helping verb. All right, the is telling us which knight. So I'm gonna draw a line here. This is an adjective, it's, it's an article adjective. And green is telling us which knight. And so we can assume that this is a knight that is wearing, um, wearing a green outfit, all right? Now we have the word or. And the way we, we, way we identify or is we're gonna use little arrows that point to it. So it's like a, like a greater than and a less than sign um, that point towards it and then away, all right? So the, the mouth of the, of the sign is, is facing away, all right? So white here is a modifying knight, so it's an adjective. All right, when we've already done it, and when here, one of these two is going to win, and battle is receiving the action of that. Okay, win what? Win the battle. So this is our direct object, and the is modifying that. Okay, so here is our adjective. All right, we want to underline the subject once. We have two subjects. We're underlined once, underlined once, and when is, oops, underlined white. Not night, so underline nights, night, underline, and then win, underline twice, okay? Now, um, so let's go ahead and look at this sentence down here, all right? During the tournament, the queen and the princess returned, all right? So what is our verb in this sentence? Our verb is return, that's the action, okay? So predicate verb, all right? Uh, who or what returned? Well, who or what returned were princess and queen, queen and princess, right? So the arrow goes toward the and sign and away. Okay, so the, the, the way it faces, if it was an arrow, it points at, um, at the and, right? Okay, now during the tournament, what is this telling us? What is this? What kind of word is during? During is a preposition. Okay, during the what? Does an article adjective, that's not it. Tournament, object of the preposition. So put in parentheses. This is an adjective that's describing tournament. And this tells us when something's gonna happen. So when they returned. So we're gonna draw an arrow here and we're gonna go all the way over to return. And this is acting as an adverb. So this is an introductory, adverbial, prepositional phrase, okay? Uh, the queen, it's telling us which queen, so adjective, all right? The princess, telling us which one, and then we get down to our verb. So here, underline the verb once, uh, or twice rather, underline the subject once. And I just realized that I forgot up here what I have all the way here at the beginning. I had a helping verb. I should have underlined that one twice. Maybe you caught that 
and you recognize that I forgot that and you knew a helping verb needs to be underlined twice because even though they're separated by all of this, those two uh, verbs, the helping verb and the main verb, are working and functioning together and we separate them like this when we want to turn it into a question. So, so hopefully you caught my mistake and you knew that I made that mistake and, and so that will help you make sure that you know uh, that you're learning that well. right? And, so, and this is actually supposed to be lowercase like that. All right, uh, that's all for today's video. Uh, good luck on the rest of your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.